coming back from Miranda Cove, I've got the Acaso on a small tripod that I'm hand holding. And I think I'm being pretty steady. But really, when you look at this, no, it's kind of jarring. It's kind of distracting. I need to do something about that. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about getting my head in the shot. And uh, yeah, the hair, I think it's going to keep growing until I put a helmet on next season. Anyway, Amazon knows me well, knows my weak points. I was not happy with uh, how the handheld uh, sort of selfie stick with the camera on the end of it looks when you're walking. So, I was starting to get some ads on, uh, on various types of gimbals for the phone. And I'm trying to use my phone a lot more these days than I used to. So, this, uh, uh, there, there's a number of, of gimbals that came up uh, in advertisements that were as low as like $75 Canadian. But this uh, Hohem caught my eye. And uh, so there it is. It's in a nice little case. Uh, it's rechargeable with USB, which I like, especially on the road. And it, uh, it looks kind of weird. And it just goes all over the place at first. It does not like the camera in the uh, case, so voila. Turn it on. And it immediately goes into into portrait mode, which is is really good for, of course, filming. Um, and uh, and yeah, so uh, I want to use it a little bit. I think it's going to be a really good little uh, addition to what I'm doing. It's got motorized controls. And da -da -dum -dum. Uh, it will control my like uh, it will control my camera as well, so I can do uh, zoom in, zoom out, etc., etc. Uh, so yeah, so that uh, I think Amazon got it down to what 109 for me, and uh, you know that's that's quite. Quite decent. I'm okay with that. Uh, certainly, you know, phone gimbals were really expensive only a few years ago. You can find them for seventy-five dollars Canadian, fifty bucks American. So we've got that one, and uh, we'll see how it works. I thought a good field test would be taking a hike out to Cedar Cove. And it's just another three minutes down the road from Bottle Cove, so yeah, it's 12 minutes away from my house. It is about a 45 minute walk in though. And it starts with a bunch of stairs. Okay, so here we are in Littleport. 
and I'm uh, I'm using my phone and my new gimbal. That's from the top of the hill. It's funny, it almost looks like it could be a drone shot, doesn't it? I do take the Anafi up for a couple of minutes, just because I hadn't shot in the little port before. Don't want to use up more than half a battery because, well, Cedar Cove could be a two-flight type of place. I'll have to come out here for a deliberate shoot one of these days soon before it gets too too cold and, and snowy. Littleport is a, a good working little harbor. There's some times when it actually seems to be quite busy out here. Today is a slow day. It's a Sunday. There's a trail up over this head. I've only gone over it twice. I'd like to get up there with the drone. I'd already be at 400 feet and well above the seagulls. Yeah, we're gonna definitely have to do that. That green little valley to the right, kind of boggy. Last time I was in it, I was dressed as a Viking and carrying a torch. Over 10 years ago, became a nanosecond speck used in the closing credits, closing titles of the movie Outlander. It was a fun four days, but boy, Got wet feet for at least one of them.
Time to bring the Anafi in and get this hike really started. 1.8 kilometers. I think I remember this being close to a um, um, 45 minutes. Oops. Okay, this is as wide as it goes. Let's see how it's gonna handle walking this trail. See how much smoother it is than when I've walked it before. It's been two years since I've been out here at least. The trail's still very nice. And the uh, Yeah, certainly been a lot of feet down this path. In general, I'm pretty pleased with how smooth the gimbal uh, makes the footage. I'm shooting this all with my Huawei, Huawei, whatever, P30, which I specifically bought for the camera capabilities, both for stills and for video. It doesn't do too bad for sound pickup either. So probably gonna use this a fair bit in the future, a fair bit. sun coming out. Listening to my breathing reminds me that I really do need more exercise. But I'm not doing too bad. Six years ago, I probably could not have done this walk without stopping and sitting down at least three times. I'm not sure I understand what's up with all the fishing buoys and other pieces of fishing gear hung in the trees on the way out here. I know in the dark it would feel a little creepy, but maybe it's stuff that people have picked up off the beach and decided, eh, let's at least get it away from the shoreline. hear the wind in the camera, but it's a little breezy out here. Not that I expected it not to be a little bit breezy. Yeah, quite set up across the, uh, the lake there. <sighs> this was such a pristine area at one point. Every time I come out here, I feel this would be, make the great setting for a medieval battle. It just has that really old feeling to it.
Yeah, it's pretty windy out here. It's a good reason why this section of uh, the hill is pretty barren. There's nothing that's growing very tall out here. Great hike, though. Oh, there's a stake I put in the ground over 10 years ago. It's still here. How about that? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get the Anafi up here. That wind is much stronger than what it looks like in the video. You can easily see why I do want to get out here and get a couple of good flights in. It's just such a different place to be. Well, there is nothing to do but to pack up the gimbal, pour a little tea. I want to make a little bit of time on the way back, so I'll probably be uh, moving a little bit faster. But nope, union tea break before I head back. So 90% of the footage here was shot on my phone. Have a little bit of the Anafi drone footage and a few bits like this one on my Akaso uh, V50. No, the phone's gonna make a really good addition to everything I'm gonna use on the road. So right now, Time to start gearing up and planning for next summer, even if it's just here in Newfoundland. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.